What's up guys? Welcome to part two. Um actually lost a bit of my recording. Um because my recorder stopped recording. Anyway, we're gonna get back to working. Um I mentioned before that I like to make this simplistic and I cut off the orb and all that. You probably already saw that. I'm hoping. Uh but yeah. As I mentioned though before, it's supposed to be some very simplistic. It's not intended to be, uh, like, extremely detailed. Um, right now it doesn't look the greatest, because this is not the ten of colors. I might just make this a damp cat, because they're a whole lot easier to draw. And I'm not trying to be, trying to push my limits today on the internet. I'm sorry, no, I can't do that. Okay, so let's look at the coloring. Okay, so he has like a strip of uh, black through the, uh, from in the nose. And then this is a pretty big nose. It's not small. A lot of dogs do not have small noses. That looks like a cat. So, what we're going to do, I'm going to erase it, and we're going to replace it with a much bigger nose. better I guess I don't really care at this point okay and they have a black strip through here and I will be partially erasing this to create um, a layer of okay and so the orange Comes in. His Doverins and Rottweilers are pretty dogs, in my opinion. Very pretty dogs. So I want this to be as accurate as possible. And sorry if I ramble a bit. If I when I do talk um, on camera, do I sound so shy on the internet when I hear myself sometimes? Sound I feel like I sound rather shyer, more shy than I really am in real life because I am not shy in real life I will fucking walk up to people that don't even fucking know me and be like oh hey hi, how, how are you friend and people look at me funny and it's like what the fuck is wrong with you kid are you trying to get stabbed today okay and then there's little or little bits up here cute bits it's gonna look probably a little bit more like a rottweiler with this actually it might might be a lot easier let me do that i'm gonna look that up you know i know what a, a rottweiler looks like but they're so cute and i like looking them up anyway yes cutest little thing ever and the orange is a lot less defined uh, but I, I see a lot of art when it, it's the Rottweiler. Uh, the orange is still defined as much as a Doberman is. Dobermans, you see that? You see that orange? It's there. Promise. The oh, wolf, bye bye. It's right there. He looks so sick of his owner's shit. It's just like I am so sick of your shit. He just looks happy. I think it's a he. I ain't looking for a dick. But yeah, there we go. There's one where you see the orange a little more defined. A lot of rat allies I've seen, they don't really have it too defined. Uh, little orange bits. Okay, so I'm going to be looking for more rounded. Face is kind of like a mask. And it curves a bit downward more. Curves a bit more down. And this is going to be like a grayish color when I do the actual painting of him. A little more natural. Um, 
Okay, so there's going to be like little inchings in over here. And we're going to cut it out over in this side to hint as of why you see it on the other side. Yeah, and this isn't a specific character or anything. I haven't, this isn't a character I have done all the workings for trying to design. No, I, I just been taking my time trying to get this to work. Um, I want this to be a character maybe in the future, but... I kind of want to do at one point a drawing where it's like the only thing you see is the strict colors uh, themselves. Um, like, you don't see any shading, you don't see any, like, definition, you don't see eyes or anything. You just see the colors of their fur, the beautiful colors of their fur. I'm not saying these things are, like, amazing color variation, but it doesn't need color variation to be cute and cuddly. <laughs> And unfortunately, if you're on the biting end, it no lo it goes from cute to oh god, oh dear god. I should probably should erase those ears. There's not very many Rottweilers have that kind of ear. In fact, it's a yeah, more droopy, cute, like droopy ears on dogs. They're so adorable. And if it's too small, I'll just enlarge the head a bit. Not that hard since I'm in Photoshop. We're going to make a definition of the ears. In fact, we're even going to have it covering over here. And make it covering over here. Okay. Looks good. Check recording time. Um, okay, so I've made the head for the most part, I might actually just use the sketch for my drawing, but at the same time, this is only supposed to be reference, and yeah. But, you know. Let's do an eraser. Actually, I could do this. Go down here. Where's the dodge tool? Dodge tool. I don't know if this works. Shit. I keep forgetting. Uh, range, midtones, shadows. Highlights? Shit. Okay, I guess that won't be working. Anyway, that's all I got for part two. Uh, see you next time on part three.